Well, hello. So today we're going to speak about the Super Bowl, Janet Jackson, Justin Timberlake, all of it fiasco, trying to process everything, and why people are upset at Justin, all of it. So first and foremost, let's go back in time. 2006, 2005 maybe, Janet Jackson, Super Bowl, halftime show. You know, she was performing, amazing performance, and then he goes out and he pulls off and it shows us her nipple with a sun nipple, and we were just like, what? Some people were like, yay, and some people were like, Ooh, you know, 500,000 calls or something like that were placed to the NFL, fines were made, it was a fiasco. Justin Timber, a lot of people have the misconception that Justin Timber looked threw her under the bus. I don't know if that's necessarily true, because Justin Timberlake actually came out in a public statement saying that, that he got 10% of the blame, and that uh, black women, and that women of color, uh, you know, get the blunt of what's going, especially women. So I don't know if that's necessarily too true, but from a PR standpoint, Justin, eh, you know, Justin, I hope you're watching this. There's, you know, some work to be made. Uh, so that's that whole situation. The fact that the NFL, the CTE, you know, brain injury, all of it, just easily uh, earlier coming out and saying, you know, the whole he wouldn't let his son play football, all of that, just kept the conjunction. America's realizing, reevaluating what's going on with the Super Bowl, with football and, and that culture and everything. So we're going through a deep transformation. So that's why a lot of people are really kind of like, oh, I don't, I'm upset at him. I'm not really sure why, but that's part of it as well. Then we move into also what he said about Prince. Now he did, you know, he was saying to himself, you know, Milwaukee or Mississippi or whatever the Super Bowl was. <laughs> it's important, you know, to like pay homage to Prince because that's where he came from. So, um, you know, he's saying a little thing and then people are like, oh, you suck. Why? And why is that? It's because a while back, you know, uh, Prince said something like Prince of Sexy Never Left and replies to it bringing sexy back. And then Justin Timberlake, I believe, has lyrics in reply to that situation, you know, and then there was an uh, uh, this particular situation where Prince didn't show up and, and Justin imitated him being a short person, whatnot, and he was trying to be funny. And I love Justin, but sometimes Justin has that awkward, like, I need to be funny in order to, like, you know what I mean, impress people. I'm like, no, you don't, buddy. You're plenty talented. You don't always need to be funny, especially in situations that are awkward and weird. So having that sensibility, you know, uh, so all of that, you know, the factor that Janet Jackson, I mean, we're still, it was Janet Jackson and Appreciation Day, you know, on the Super Bowl Sunday day. And people were all over Janet. They were like, Janet, 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 Janet. I'm still on the Janet fever from the whole situation. Because when we look at the Super Bowl, we look at what happened to the city afterwards. That's a whole different video unto itself. It's just everything that is happening. See, the parents are agreeing, right? They're like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> So those are very, so is Justin to blame for people not liking this halftime show? Uh, yes and no. It was very plain. It was, there was no fireworks. It was very, like, whatever. And I don't think that Justin has the the power to be able to do that for me in his lyrics and his music. You know, I think we always need a show and stopper and stuff like that. Not bringing people into the, from the audience. That's a little like, it's cool, but I think it should have been done better. You know, like they've done it before where people have held up signs and created the thing or whatnot. It could have been done so much better. So various different little hiccups and just people are progressively disliking football. They're looking for something new. They're understanding that 90% of the football players are having their brains damaged. And we end up with O.J. Simpsons, people of that sort, and you've seen the crime sheet rap of people that have been damaged their brains and therefore they get involved with the crime and bad things happen. So this is something that we seriously need to reevaluate in regards to people's like, well, we'll make the helmet super big. And I'm like, that's not necessarily a thing. It's like, it's about transforming society into something better. You know, do you agree? Do you disagree? The whole Janet Jackson situation. I myself love a black nipple. <laughs> I think the black nipple is the power of the universe in its own form. I think that we should empower more black women. And I love, I love the revolution that is happening uh, with the empowerment of the black society. Now, if it could also happen with the Asian society and also with the Latino society, that'd be sweet and nice, wouldn't it? I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful eternity.